Welcome back tech enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into the ultimate guide for installing Parrot OS as a dual boot on your system. In our previous video, some of you shared issues and challenges you faced during the setup process. Thank you for your feedback. In this updated tutorial, we'll be covering everything from scratch, featuring the latest version of Parrot OS 6.2, along with solutions to those problems you've encountered. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned ethical hacker, this video has got you covered with step-by-step -step instructions, pro tips, and troubleshooting guidance. Let's make sure your dual boot setup is smooth and secure. Let's get started. Hi, this is Shrikant. You are watching Blue Shield YouTube channel. Okay, let's dive into the video. First go to Parrot OS official website. And download the latest version of ISO file. I am already downloaded the file. Now plug in your USB drive and launch Rufus. Choose your USB drive here. Select the Parrot OS ISO file. You were downloaded and set the partition scheme to match your system, either GPT for UEFI or MBR for BIOS. Click Start to create the bootable USB. Here select Write DD Image Mode and click on Start. The Rufus will take rest of the things. After the completion, now let's make space for Parrot OS. Right click on this PC, go to show more options. Go to manage. Here select disk management. Right click on the drive you want to shrink. Select shrink volume and allocate enough space for Parrot OS. 30 GB or more is recommended. I am giving 35 GB. Now restart your PC and enter boot menu by pressing desired key of your PC. Most of the PCs have F12 key. In this boot menu, select your bootable drive and hit enter. Now you are in Parrot OS Live environment. In this home screen you can see, install Parrot OS. Double click on this. Now the install process will start. Select your region and time zone here. Click on Next. Here select your language and keyboard. Click on Next. Now you are in critical part of partition. Here select manual partition. Click on Next. Here you can see the free space of you are created. Select free space and click on create. Here give the 4 GB for Linux swap for better performance. Select file system as Linux swap.
select flags as swap. Then click on OK. Now select remaining free space, click on create. Here also give 4 gigabits for FAT32. Select file system as FAT32. Select mount point as forward slash boot. And select flags as boot. Then click on OK. Now select remaining space. Click on create again, give remaining all space for EXT4. Select file system as EXT4. Mount point as forward slash. And flags as root. Click on OK. Now the partition setup is completed. Now select the EXT4 partition, click on Next. Now the account page will open. Here give your username and passwords. Then click on Next. Here you can see the all the partition details you created. Now simply click on Install. That's it. The installation process will start it. Once the installation is complete, reboot your system. You will be greeted with the Grub Boot menu, allowing you to choose between Parrot OS and Windows. Congratulations, you've successfully set up Parrot OS in a dual boot configuration. If you encounter any issues, such as missing grub or bootloader errors, check the links in the description for detailed troubleshooting guides. You can also drop your questions in the comments, I'll be happy to help. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Blue Shield YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.